Hello, boys and girls. I am Redneck Dipper. And I'm coming at you today for another review. Not a dip review, but something special. But there's a there's a catch to this. What I'm about to do, I have never tried and I have never had ever. And what that is is Levi Garrett chewing tobacco. Now, I have already opened the bag and smelled it. So, sorry. Nothing I can do about it. But, for the video's sake, it smells... For me, for me, it smells like Lancaster. Now, people are going to think I'm stupid and crazy for saying that, for, but for me, it smells like Lancaster. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's another chewing tobacco. But anyway, the reason I already opened it is because I was dying just to see what it smelled like. So I opened it in the car and smelled of it so I haven't taken any out of it yet but I have smelled it so one thing I want to talk about before we get into that <clears throat> in my last video my southern blend dip review I said the next video you see of me I will have a mud jug well I'm sorry but it is not here yet it did not come in the mail I was hoping that it would come today, but sadly it did not. So, I have to work with this. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. And one more thing before we get into the Levi. Keep an eye on this channel, folks. Because I got, not, ne not my next video, but I got something coming up. A dip review of something special. It's right here. I want to see in the comments if you can guess what dip this is. I'm not going to turn it turn it around and show you, but I want to see if anyone can guess what this is. All right, now let's get into the Levi. I will say, this stuff is very, very dry. That's a good size pin pinch for me. Alrighty, folks. Let's do it. Booyah! Then we, since it's not a Ziploc bag like Beach Nut, I have to fold it down very tight, like so. And there's your Levi. Now, I'm gonna say this is actually pretty good. I'm really enjoying the taste. It's staying in my jaw really good. Unlike most chews I've had, like Red Man and Stoker's Chew. My least favorite chew of all time is Stoker's. I hate Stoker's. Anything, even dip, I just can't stand Stoker's. Don't ever ask me to do a video of Stoker's. <laughs> the only way you'll see me do a, a video on Stoker's dip or chew is if I hit either 50 subs or 100 and I'll do a full can of it but that'll be the only way you know and if I hit 20 subs I'll do a well I ain't gonna say that yet no I don't wanna get too in over my head but anyway the the taste of Levi for me 
it's 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 not a strong taste. It's more smooth. Now beech nut for me is a stronger taste. But I like this better than I do beech nut. My favorite chew of all time is Lancaster. And my second was beech nut. But I believe I'm going to have to move this up to my second. So now my second favorite dip. Levi Garrett. I recommend this to everyone. Go try your bag of it. It is, it is redneck dipper approved. Now, oh, and got the rebel flag in the background of today's video, supporting the rebel flag. I'm sorry, sorry for the bad lighting. I am in my room. It is storming like a motherfucker outside, so I couldn't go out and do it in the rain. Now. I want to talk about something real fast. I purchased at my local Walmart a knife that I, I really do enjoy. It is called the Little Thunder. It has got a camouflage handle. And it has about a 4 inch blade. It looks smaller on the video but... You see this in the real life, it's about four inches. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says Turtle Boy, and it says right down here, it says Turtle Man. I don't know if anyone's ever seen that old TV show, Call of the Wild Man. If you have, you'll know what that's a reference from. Anyway. That has been my Levi Garrett review. I give it two thumbs up. So I recommend it to everyone. Go try your bag of it. I like it. And I approve of it. So, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Stay cool and stay classy.